Okay, so you'll need six things. You need an LED, a resistor, a power supply, breadboard, and power source, okay? So how our breadboard works. With the positive and negative columns over here, these are columns, they're interconnected vertically. So the positive is interconnected vertically for the positive side, the negative interconnected vertically to the ne negative side, and same goes on this side. But for the middle portion, they're divided with the trench. So this is a trench. So on the left side, A, B, C, D, E, all of these rows are interconnected horizontally, okay? So A is interconnected with B, which is interconnected with C, D, E, you know, you get the point. But because of the trench here, A, B, C, D, E is not connected with F, G, H, I, J. F, G, H, I, J though is interconnected horizontally within each other. So the first row, all of these are interconnected. Fifth row, all of these horizontally interconnected. Okay, you get the idea. Now. In order to connect a power supply to the breadboard, you need to first, I have a battery and some connectors right here. You need to connect the connector to the battery like this. Okay, and then you have this adapter, plug it into the power supply, so over here. And what you want to know about the power supply is you will see how there's negative and a positive, a negative and a positive, and you will also see that here we have 5 volts and 3.3 volts. 5 volts and 3.3 volts. 3.3 volts will work for most applications, but 5 volt is just a safe option. So whenever you work with electronics, always just stick to 5 volts if you can. So these are jumper cables, so just put it on the 5 volts. This is just so that you know, okay? But it's not important for this application. Now, with the sides, which way do we put it into the breadboard? Because we have a positive, always, always remember that the standard for positive is red, okay? So you have red here. You're, you're gonna have to turn this around that way, the positive from here correlates to positive on the breadboard. And now that you have that, you want to stick stick the prong into the breadboard. Okay, so I'm gonna do it at the bottom like this. Well, I'm gonna do it at 15. That way you could see it better, okay? So you just stick it in here. You don't have to push too hard, but make sure that it's in there. Okay, so once you have it in there, you're gonna take an LED, okay? Notice how there's a long prong and there's a short prong. The long prong is anode, the short is cathode. Think of it like cathode for cut, okay? Cut, negative, okay? Long, anode, always, always go to the positive and cut, negative, goes to the negative. So when we put it, we're gonna have to pick, okay? You could flip, the way you put an LED in, it doesn't matter as long as the, the leg of the LED correlates to whatever is in here. So because our long leg is on the left side, I'm just gonna put it into a positive. And remember, these are all interconnected, so the location you put within the positive column does not matter. I'm just gonna put it by number 40 over here. And then put the negative, the cathode, into the median middle part of the breadboard. Okay, now, if you turn this on, the LED might turn on, but it's gonna short. Okay, this is not a good way of lighting up an LED. The reason why you need a resistor is to resist current flow. So, with a resistor, the current flow through the LED is going to be consistent, okay? There's not gonna be a jump, there's not gonna be a short, okay? So which is why we need a resistor. With resistors, 330 is the perfect type of resistor that applies to almost every application. So if you have a resistor, your go-to would be 330. Now, how do you put a resistor and connect it within the circuit we have right here. 
you can have you have two options if your led is connected on the positive side one of your resistor prong needs to go on the negative side and the other one goes into the median same row as the, the other led prong so for this example because our long leg is on the negative uh, the positive side you're putting a resistor here okay remember the row like the column on the outer side is interconnected so i could put it my prong here i could put it here i could put it here it really does not matter but i'm just gonna put it here okay that way it's a closer reach to the median same row as the led so once you have that make sure that it's stuck in and if you turn it on your led will light up okay now what if you want to do with the other way? What if you want to connect the LED through the short, the cathode side? Well, you can still do that. You just have to flip it, take the resistor out first, flip it, take the LED on the shorter side, shorter side to the negative column and the longer side to the median. Okay, make sure that it's in there and this time you're going to put the resistor in the anode so the positive oh, you're gonna put okay let me do this again so a shorter side median okay no Anode side, median, but same row as the LED. Make sure that it stays on. Okay, now that you have that, press the power, LED lights on. And that's how you power an LED.